Good morning. Uh, today we're going to continue this uh, function summary of a rational function f of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared over x squared minus x minus 12. Um, <clears throat> the domain of this function is everywhere this function is defined, the allowable values of x for the input. Uh, we determined where this function did not exist in an earlier video and we determined when we factored the denominator and set it equal to zero that the uh, function did not exist when x equaled four and when x equaled negative three. So we can say that the domain is all real numbers except that set that contains negative three and positive four. Um, now we can look at the intercepts. Um, the y-intercept is where x equals zero. We get a zero in the numerator and a negative 12 in the denominator, so we know that we have a y-intercept of zero, zero. Consequently, consequently, we also have a x-intercept of zero, zero. And uh, the, other, the other value that makes the numerator zero is four, well, x, uh, f is not continuous at x equals 4, so therefore it is not an x-intercept. In fact, yeah, it doesn't exist, so it can't be an x-intercept. So now we'll move on to the topic of continuity. And the continuity of this function, uh, it's a rational function, so it's going to be continuous uh, on its domain. So we can say that its continu continuity is uh, from negative infinity to negative 3. I'm just going to use unions here. Uh, from negative three to four, and from four to positive infinity. Um, now we'll look at where f is positive, and where f is negative. And um, that means when the f is positive means the graph of f is above the x-axis, f is negative means that the graph of f is below the x-axis. So how we determine those intervals is we make ourselves a number line. And on that number line, for one thing I'm going to label this number line too as the uh, f sine graph, or sine of f graph, uh, meaning positive or negative sine, so that I know what it is. It's, it's very helpful when you're working in a, uh, on a piece of paper to be able to know what you're looking at. Um, and on this number line, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, plot where x is equal to, I mean, f is equal to zero, and I'm going to put a little zero under that zero, meaning that it's actually equal to zero at that point, and where f is undefined, which is at negative three, and I'm going to put a little does not exist under there, and x is equal to four, and I'm going to put another little does not exist. And uh, then I'm going to test the intervals in the original function f. So to the left of negative 3, a big number, a big negative number cubed is a big negative number. Over a big neg negative number squared is a positive number. So a negative over a positive yields a negative number. So I know that at least one interval where f is negative is from negative infinity to negative 3. And then uh, from negative three to zero, I'm gonna use uh, one, it's in between there. So one cubed, or negative one, sorry. Negative one cubed is negative one, minus four times negative one squared is negative five, so that's a negative number. Over uh, negative one squared is positive one, minus a negative one is positive two, minus 12 is negative 10. So I get a negative number over a negative number, which yields a positive number. So therefore, I know one interval where f is positive will be from negative three to zero. Uh, zero is not positive or negative, that's why it doesn't get included in these intervals. And I don't have room for union symbols, uh, so I'm just gonna use common. I'm just listing the intervals where f is positive. So now I'm gonna go between zero and four. I'm gonna use positive one. One minus four is negative three. Uh, one minus one is zero. Uh, oh, so I get uh, negative 3 over negative 12, which is a positive number. So again, another interval where f is positive is from 0 to 4. And then finally, we'll uh, test on the right side of 4. So I'll use a big number. Big number cubed, big positive number cubed is a big positive number over a 
big positive number squares, another big positive number, positive over positive is a positive. And so therefore, the other interval of where f is positive is from four to positive infinity. So f is positive from negative three to zero, from zero to four, and from four to infinity. f is negative, meaning that it's below the x-axis from negative infinity to negative three. f is positive means that it's above the x-axis, the graph. Okay, so we'll move on and we'll continue with continuity in the next video.